Hey there, I'm Stuart Donaldson, martial arts instructor, exercise physiologist, parent and child development authority. And today we're looking at how does martial arts help make kids more confident? As martial arts instructors, we know that martial arts makes kids more confident and it's one of the common things that parents come looking uh, for when they're signing their kids up for martial arts and it's one of the, the common benefits that we, we put forward as, as being involved in martial arts. But exactly how does martial arts help build confidence? Uh, and we're gonna go through that today. Now confidence can very loosely be divided into two sections, confidence in being on show and then confidence in one's own ability. And we're gonna look at those two uh, parts in, in sequence. Now, a lot of students are quite talented when they come to martial arts, but for one reason or another, they, they hold themselves to, to really high standards and maybe they're high achievers in other areas of life, in other sports or academic or, or in the arts and music. Uh, and they're scared, they're fearful of not being able to live up to their, to their own high standards and sometimes the standards that have been, been put on them by others, by you know, parents or, or well-meaning teachers and so on. So it's all about empowering those kids and getting them to, to believe in themselves enough that their ability is very high uh, and that they, you know, to believe in themselves and, and they can then take steps forward from there. For these students, it is about empowering them and letting them know it's okay not to be the superstar all the time, but at the same time, harnessing that talent that they do have and making them something great out of it. And then on the flip side, we've got kids that aren't physically gifted and they know it. Uh, they're the ones that, that say, oh, I'm not good at this. I'll never be X, Y, Z. I'll never be a black belt. I'll never be able to you know, do this kick or that kick or, or whatever the case may be in other areas of their life. And for those students, it's about creating the little wins. And it, hopefully we can create them in every single session and they can get a nice cascade effect. But sometimes it is, hey, remember what you did a couple of weeks ago or a month ago, look how much better you are today. And giving them that self-belief and that confidence in their own ability that they can then get on a roll themselves and, and, and develop some self-belief and some self-confidence. And that's the skill of a good instructor is being able to spot those little wins, pick it out, and pick which students need those individual little wins uh, to help to help build their confidence along. Because obviously if we're not uh, not giving those kids those little wins, they are gonna lack that belief and go, eh, I'm not achieving anything, I'm out of here, and then they'll quit, and then there's just one more student that you can't influence and, and help to improve their life. Now for some students, after some early success, they can really get on a roll and become very capable martial artists. Um, for others though, it can be a real grind. They do have to work extremely hard just for those, those little percenters. Now what we actually find is those students do actually become mentally tougher and more resilient with their martial arts and in other areas of their life because they do have to work so hard for their success. Now before I go into the second tip, super quick, if you just can hit the subscribe button below, leave us a comment, uh, any thoughts you have about martial arts and confidence and, and ways that you can build your kids' confidence, I would love to hear from you and have a conversation with you about that. But for now, let's get on to the second tip. And as I said, the second tip, other than self-belief and self-confidence, is that confidence in being on show. Uh, and it's commonly touted that you know, public speaking is people's worst nightmare and you know that, that that's their number one fear. And uh, science also shows us that people's number or the number one emotion that people go out of their way to avoid is, is humiliation or embarrassment. Um, so put that together with the fear of being on show and stumbling and mumbling your words and making a, you know, making a fool of yourself. Uh, that's why that, that being on show uh, you know, can be very intimidating for some people and it's so important um, to be able to empower people and give them the confidence to be able to stand up in front of people um, because as they move forward in life, you know, whether that be in school, uh, in work, whether they want to go into leadership positions, um, people look to people uh, who can you know, speak and, and orate in front of people and if you're not confident with that, uh, there's only so far that you're going to be able to go in, in your career and your leadership ability. Now once we're able to improve a student's confidence in their own ability and their, their confidence in being able to be on show, we can see in their body language, they stand taller, they walk taller, they stand prouder, they shout louder, they try harder. And it comes back to what I said earlier about creating those little wins, giving them those little successes first that they can then get on a roll and go, hey, I'm actually pretty good at this. Uh, and then they can build up from there. So overall, once you empower students that they can achieve success, they stand taller, shout louder, they get on a roll. Success breeds success. And we've got that first little win, and then we can get on a roll from there and really build that confidence. 
So there you go, guys. That's my thoughts on the, the major two ways that martial arts helps build confidence in kids. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to have a conversation with you. Um, have you got any other ways or any other ways that martial arts builds confidence? Any other thoughts? Have you had a child that do do martial arts and build their confidence and get some improvement as a result? I would love to hear from you. So uh, comment below, subscribe to the channel, and that way next time I've got a video coming out, you can be informed and we can continue that dialogue. Um, but otherwise, for, for now, guys, take care. Have a great day. Much respect.